This is breaking news from News 8. Good evening and thanks for watching News 8 Digital Edition. We are following breaking news today out of Pennsylvania. 11 people are dead after a shooting inside a synagogue in Pittsburgh. Police say the gunman opened fire during a service at the Tree of Life congregation. He allegedly yelled, quote, all Jews must die. The gunman has been identified as 48 year old Robert Bowers. He is in custody after being shot by police. Police say he was armed with a possible AK-47 and two pistols. In addition to the 11 dead, six others were hurt. None of those killed were children. Four of the injured are police officers. The FBI is investigating this as a hate crime. Earlier today, President Trump suggested there would have been a different outcome if there were armed guards at the synagogue. He later said this while at a rally in Indiana. We mourn for the unthinkable loss of life that took place today, and we pledge in their name to fight for a future of justice, safety, tolerance, morality, dignity, and love. And we're going to have to come out with very, very powerful punishment for these horrible people that do these things. We're going to have to come out with the ultimate punishment. You know what the ultimate punishment then is. Police in Rochester, Brighton and other communities have extra police presence at synagogues today. The Jewish Community Center also stepped up security. It released a statement saying it will, quote, resolve to do what we can to bring an end to anti-Semitism and all heinous crimes against humanity. Rochester police have released a surveillance picture of the pickup truck involved in a hit and run. Take a look here. Police say that red truck hit a bicyclist yesterday on Chilai Avenue near Thurston Road. We are working to get a condition update on the 25 year old man who was on that bike. Anyone with information should call 911. Switching gears now, meteorologist James Gilbert joins us for a look at what's next in this rainy weather. Hey, James. Hey, Jeannie, yeah, really not the prettiest of days today for sure. Many folks seeing a good amount of rain over an inch, maybe even over two inches for some spots. 41 degrees, so it is cold. The breeze makes it feel like the 30s. Uh, we've seen almost half an inch in Rochester, close to two an inch in Penyon and Dansville. Here's the pattern of the rain really East of Rochester is where kind of some of the heavier rain is. But look at uh, southern Ontario County, closer to the Finger Lakes, over two inches. This is radar indicated there. So, yeah, there are some uh, spots that really have seen a significant amount of the rain. The heaviest rain is out. You see that one band of yellow that just pushed outward and uh, we'll just have to do with light to moderate rain showers for the rest of the evening. A wider view does show some drier air kind of right on the uh, New York Pennsylvania border. That's going to start working its way in. So yes, we will continue to see showers for the rest of the evening, but it should be pretty sporadic over the next uh, really 12 to 24 hours. Wintry mix for some. We are so close to that freezing mark further south. Once you get to that higher elevation, one, two, three thousand feet, that is when we could start to see a little bit of a wet snow coming down. Uh, continually unsettled, though, really, as we get into next week as well. More rain chances in the forecast. Tonight, temperatures hang out in the 30s. So, yes, the rain showers continue again, light for most. Tomorrow, don't let the weather stop you from getting outside and maybe doing a little bit of a fall fun activities. Temperature is going to be in the 40s uh, for pretty much the entire day off and on at rain showers. So your future cast here, here's 1130 tonight. Light rain showers still uh, going to be in the mix here. There we go. As we get into 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, that's when we're going to start to see through some of those higher elevations, especially across Wyoming County. And then once you get further closer to uh, Yates County, Penyan, that those folks could see that bit of wintry mix. But everything kind of lifts out and we'll have some just leftover moisture, some rain showers that just don't want to get kicked out. Uh, so they'll hang with us through the day on Sunday. Then once the storm system finally clears out, that's going to lead the way for some potential lake enhancement for the rain showers. That's what we'll watch as we get into Monday. Yes, Monday we could deal with a little bit of that there. So really the per percentage for rain just continues, stays pretty high. Even Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week, 60% chance of rain for pretty much every day there. And then of course, Wednesday is Halloween. It could be dealing with some afternoon showers there, and that would continue into Wednesday and Thursday. The only real nice thing about this is that we should finally see temperatures climbing above normal, at least back into the 50s as we get to the end of the work week. And of course, November right around the corner. Jeannie? 
All right, James, thanks for that. And thank you for watching News 8 at 6 Digital Edition. We'll be on air after the game. See you then. Follow News 8 wherever you are on RochesterFirst.com, Facebook, Twitter, and our apps for both news and weather.